been asked the same question multiple times today on Webull. I'm not here to tell you what to invest in. I'm here to share how I trade. So I was like, got the question a bunch of times today. People are saying, how did you trade today? So this is great because over the weekend, and I'll show you guys right now, let me share my screen. Over the weekend, I made a posting on Discord. And what you'll see is three charts that I used our commands for in our Discord. So the first was for the SPY, the second was for the QQQ, and the third was for the Russell. But what you're seeing is all bearish positions. The whole thing is basically the biggest flows are all bearish. So it's usually 10, 10, and 9 out of 10. So you have 9 out of 10, 9 out of 10, and 10 out of 10. So that was telling me going into Monday's day of trading that Monday's probably going to be a red day. Now understand, we gap down overnight. Okay, they like to pump the market and open. Maybe I'll get into calls. And then I said, Matt, you're a bear in this market. Why would you ride calls? And then I told myself with my devil on one side, I was like, because the market's going to go up. It could go up to 386. At 386 and a quarter, I got involved with puts. What happened from there? The market spiked all the way up to 387. Let me pull it up for you. And that's what I use for, for that. I'm using a trading view. Um, I usually use the one minute, the three minute, and the 15 minute. So we can go back to the 15 minutes and take a look at what it has going on today. All right. So you have the 15 minute chart. And then again, you saw the drop it open. We spiked all the way up. To 387. I was a little shocked. I thought we were going to pull back here. My strategy was when we see 386 and a quarter, in this case, it was 387. I'm entering puts on the spy. Now, every time I go out three days and give myself more than enough time to be correct, the market reacts the way I think it was going to be. And I could have secured better profit. So I said to myself, okay, well, you're not over leveraging yourself. You're taking one position. You'll take a second position if needed. So I bought some spy puts. And again, I'll bring up the chart because I was not correct right at the, at the start. So, okay. So I bought the spy puts right around here. It went higher. It dropped. It actually went a little higher again. There we are still 386.50. And if I'm in at 386 and a quarter, I'm still red, red, red on my trade. It dropped. It dropped. I thought it would drop to 385. If today was bullish, we would have bounced off the 385 mark and gone back up here. As my options expired today, I was selling and taking profit. So I sold and took profit. And then again, five minute rule. What happens? I left money on the table. I went trading the SPY. My account went from down a thousand dollars to up a thousand dollars. I secured profit because I don't try and kill it each day. I try and make meaningful trades that I think will have good return. Now, as the SPY sits a whole you know, 75 cents lower, my options would have been worth a whole 60 cents higher. I left about $3,000 on the table. So I'm transparent. Two things that I need to approve on that I tell everybody is number one, my patience. Unless I'm sure I'm going to be correct about a trade and I have some valid backing to why I believe I'm going to, then there's no reason to rush into a trade. Today I traded before 10.30 a.m. or right at 10.30 a.m. I told everybody I was going to wait for 11 a.m. If I had waited till 11 a.m., the contracts that I got in at 94 cents, I could have got in around 73 cents. And what kills me is we all know Zach Morris, right? Dude loves to pump stocks and he's pretty good at it. He started trading spy options. So this morning he showed the same spy put that I was in the 385 puts that expired today. His entry point was like 73 cents or 74 cents. Mine was 94 cents. Yes, we all make fun of him, but the dude actually can follow the market and analyze the market in at $94. I sold on the way out at $1.25. So I made about 30 times uh, 50. I made about $1,500. With that said, five minute rule, it went all the way up to $1.86, probably even higher now. It's probably circling around the $2 mark. So again, if I leave 75 cents on the table times 50 contracts, that's about $3,500. So rule number two, when you're right on a trade, when you're correct on a trade and the momentum is going your way and your account is going up, you can set trailing stop losses. Me. I have things to do today. So I was like, okay, the SPY hit 385. Let me get out. As I shoot this right now, let's just show it off. The SPY just dropped under 384, 384.02. Now it's 383.92. Again, my puts were the 395 puts. At 11, 11 a.m., my position was down over $1,000. At 1118 a.m., my position was up $500. It flickered from red to green. But if you don't have the money and you don't have the understanding to trade without emotion, you should not be trading the SPY, especially when you're going zero days till expiration. Zero days till expiration means my contracts expire at 4.15 p.m. today. With that said, would have been smart to hold, but now the SPY is bouncing back up. 
So I'll give you an end of day prediction. Right now, the SPY is at 384.69. So it just bounced up a whole 70 cents literally in the last minute I shot this. Let me pull up the screen. There it is. So we're sitting at 384.69. I happen to think we're going to find support right around here, 383.85. 383 was the previous support, and I believe we will finish the day at 386.14. Yeah, right in that range. Now, I am still a bear, so understand, being a bear, I can still say, that, yes, the market's going to finish higher than where we are at 12.08 p.m. However, I'm still bearish in the market. If we finish at 386 or around there or wherever we do, on any spikes going forward, I'm going to continue to play my put strategy on the spy. So the same thing you're learning in this video, you could follow a day or two or three out. Now, if the Fed says 50 basis points and the market spikes on Wednesday, then you want to stay away because the market could turn bullish for a few days. But what's more likely to happen is they're likely to say 75 basis points. The market's likely to continue the sell-off. So again, any spikes in the SPY in the morning when I think we've hit the top and we see a single, double, or even a triple rejection, I will enter into SPY puts. That's how I plan on making money going forward. I'm five for five following my rules with the new account that I started. The account is up uh, 60% in five trading days. Follow me for more suggestions, more tips, and better trading.